Hey everyone, so this is just a, another quick video I've been meaning to do for a while, but um, just go through one of the features that I'm not sure is all that well explained in the manual, but um, is pretty straightforward really. If you're, if you've ever used Surface IDs, I'm sure it would make sense, but um, basically under here in your buffers, you've got object ID um, and where each object gets its own color ID which can be used in a compositor for masking out individual objects and then surface ID which is pretty much the same thing but per surface. Um, sometimes say with the butter here we've got two separate surfaces we've got butter dish and the butter itself you might want to be able to mask those out um, as a single item. So if you come over to the um, shading model tab, we've got the surface ID override. So this basically just not means it will be um, the color that, it, that Lightwave has decided it's going to get um, when you load it up using its random built-in IDs, but you can change this to whatever you want. So if I change it to anything above zero, it, they're going to be the same. So whichever ones I've got selected, now my butter and the butter dish are both ID1. I mean, you can change it to whatever you want if you want to get some sort of crazy random color. There you go. That's quite cool. Um, but you can then use this in a compositing app to create a mask quite easily. Um, now I can just change all of them to 200 if that's what you want in your compositing app. You can make all the foreground objects quite easily, just one ID, um, and mask them out from the background objects. Um, and that's it really. It's just quite handy because um, we've never had that functionality before. Um, and that's it. Cheers, bye.